The most important quality a man can bring into a relationship for a successful, thriving connection is trustworthiness. It's not being over six feet tall. It's not having a six-figure job. It's not being handsome, right? It's being trustworthy. And that doesn't just mean betrayal. Certainly faithfulness is a component of it, but it's also words aligning with actions. It's living with integrity. It's meaning what you say. And of course, it's being honest. <laughs> Imagine that, trustworthiness. That's how we build safety in our relationship, right? Safety. Safety's where it's at. He's absolutely right. Because that is the one thing people are looking for in an intimate relationship, is somebody they can trust, somebody who says what they mean, follows through, and really communicates this sense that they're a haven of safety. I swear to God, this seems to be the, the one area that men do not understand what the word trust means. Okay, maybe not the one area, but one of the most common areas. A lot of men are not under, connecting the dots that you not doing what you say you're going to do in a timely manner and have to have your wife remind you again and again and again and again is not only making her your mommy, which is very unattractive to her because who wants to fork their son? nobody right i hope not but it really comes down to being reliable and therefore trustworthy if you don't do the things you say you're going to do again and again and again how can she trust you're ever going to do anything so a lot of men think that oh i'm trustworthy like for instance i can trust someone with my secrets i can tell them anything i can trust them with my heart i can trust them to not betray me or cheat on me or any of that but if they won't do the things they say they're gonna do that are really important like pay bills or like anything on the to-do list what you're doing is violating that person's trust you are making it so that despite all this love they have for you despite all the trust they have in every other area this one area they can't trust you because they can't depend on you therefore you're unreliable and untrustworthy and so it doesn't matter how much you love that person if you don't follow through with the things that you say you're going to do it doesn't feel like love it feels like a betrayal over and over and over again because that person is on edge constantly wondering well they said they're going to do this but then they didn't do it but if i bring it up they're going to get mad or if i do it myself i'm resentful and they're also emasculated somehow or then i have to deal with their shame of having not done it so all this extra work that women are doing in marriages of trying to broach the subject of the tasks that he's not doing. Not only is that a lot of extra time and labor and you know mental gymnastics of when to bring it up. Did you do it? Hey, did you do the thing you said you're gonna do? Hey, by the way, you know, the timing of that conversation is a lot to ask of her because she, if she brings it up at the wrong time, do you know what I mean? So much work for her to follow up and see if you did that thing. But the fact that you didn't do it at all, when you said you were going to, or in the timely manner so that you don't get uh, an, a fee, or the car doesn't break down because you didn't fix this thing, or you have to pay a lot more money because you didn't fix this thing, and you just avoid, 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 avoid. Because remember, uh, the thing that, that seems to ruin so many marriages is men's escapism and avoidance. And that man can love the crap out of that woman, but if he will not do the things that he is supposed to do for that relationship, she's gonna feel betrayed. She's gonna feel like she can't trust him. And then, it's not gonna make any sense to him. All these men are like, I don't understand. I was blindsided. I never cheated on her. I never even thought about cheating on her. I never da 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 da. But did you just literally do the things that you said you're gonna do? Because every time you didn't do those things, you lied. You lied. And, and men don't see it that way. They're like, what's the big deal? And yet at the same time, she would never get that much grace. Never. And not only that, but if, if she doesn't do these things, the, the consequences of them not getting done are so big that she's just gonna do them anyway. And now she's pissed that she has more on her to-do list because you won't do the thing you said you were gonna do. And you're gonna get around to it. Okay, or when you have time, you don't have time, but you always have time to do your hobby, whatever that is. Endless time to do all, waste, endless time to waste time, but you can't do that thing. And look, I have ADHD, I understand time blindness i understand like being overwhelmed there's a lot of things that i need to do that i haven't done yet and any woman any human hopefully can understand that nobody's perfect and every, and and not everyone is going to do things in their time right and that everyone has a different approach to things some people like to do things each day other people like to do it all in one day do you know what i mean that obviously but if consistently consistently 
it falls on her because he doesn't follow through. Men will start so many things. Men are so good at starting things, but they won't finish it. <laughs> that is what is like ruining so many marriages. I remember one of my friends being like, it's not that he doesn't do things. He just doesn't finish anything. Like everything is half done. So I have to like complete the circle of every single thing. I'm involved in every single thing because I can't rely on him to complete any of the things. And that is what we're talking about when we mean trust. Some women know, they know their husband loves them. They know their husband would never cheat on them. Well, <laughs> we can always say that, but then everyone who says that always gets blindsided anyway, whatever. But I'm saying a lot of these relationships that are even full of so much love and health, if the man is not understanding his entitlement, because that's what it comes down to, his entitlement to put off doing things, which comes across to her as just laziness and unreliability and untrustworthiness. But to me, a lot of that is rooted clearly also. It could be so many things that are causing that, but one of the big things that's causing that is the patriarchal conditioning of, of entitlement. Why would you feel the need to finish anything when you know that women, uh, I think my husband uses the, the metaphor of curling, Men are just, women are like the ones with the brooms who are just making everything smooth for him, right? Why would you need to feel the need, the pressure, the urgency to do anything when there's a woman who'll come behind you or in front of you and sweep, 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 sweep. And so many, so many men refuse to acknowledge that. And so they can love the crap out of their wives. They can be devoted. They would never think of another woman. They would da, 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 da. But if you won't finish the things you say you're going to do, she doesn't feel loved. She feels betrayed because that creates not a sense of safety. It's the opposite of safety. It keeps her on edge. She can never rest peacefully. She can never relax because she's always worried that you didn't do the thing you said you're going to do. As simple as paying this one bill. Do you have any idea? I've seen so many videos of the lights being turned off in the house because she just assumed he was paying the bill. No. So if he's not gonna pay the bill, guess who's gonna step in and pay the bill? Because the bill has to get paid. And, and then after 10, 15 years of that crap, where her to-do list is this long and his is this long because he can't be, he's not dependable, that is why he's getting served divorce papers and feels blindsided. Because he wasn't listening, didn't care enough to actually change that entitled lazy behavior because the laziness honestly there's a lot of things that can be motivated one of it is entitlement no sense of urgency and while she has been begging in these small ways for years please do these things so that i don't have to keep having this fucking conversation and he just a little bit to shut her up and then goes back to doing the thing you know just bare minimum every time and then he gets served those papers and he has no one to blame but himself because like everything he was avoid looking at this problem in their marriage. Avoid doing this, avoid doing that, avoid doing this, and shocker, avoid dealing with this major problem in their marriage, which is trust. You keep being unreliable, she can no longer trust you. If she can no longer trust you, she doesn't feel safe. What is the point of being with you if she doesn't feel safe? You're already, as a man, the biggest threat to her sense of safety, just because you're a giant man who could unalive her like that. And then you, you rob her of her sense of mental safety? because you won't do stupid, simple things on your to-do list. Why? Just because you just have better things to do, like play video games, go climbing, whatever it is. That is why you're getting served papers. And that's why I say, I don't care how many, how much therapy sessions you go to, how many marches, how many feminist marches you go to, if you are exploiting your wife in your house because you keep not following through on things, completing tasks and making her have to check in with you to make sure you did everything on it. You're literally making her your mom and that doesn't, that doesn't sit well with her. She didn't sign up to be your mom. She signed up to be your partner. And as a team, you are the dead weight of the team. And she'd rather either just not be on a team at all or get a different teammate because this ain't it. Unpack your entitlement under patriarchy or you will never be able to have a healthy relationship with a woman because you can't truly love someone you're exploiting. Especially once you know you're exploiting her and you continue to do so, there's no way she's gonna feel loved. She feels unsafe and betrayed and lonelier with you than without you. If men don't wanna die alone, deal with your entitlement because that's the root of a lot of your problems.